We're pleased to be back here to give you an update on where we're at with our uh, flagship project, the Mount Peak project. We've steadily been de-risking, at the same time uh, um, advancing as quickly as possible this, this project to uh, take account of the, uh, the recent increase in prices for vanadium in particular, which will be the lowest cost producer. So it's a world-class strategic metals project, and our key focus on this one, sorry, is that we're going to have one mine, and we've steadily focused on extracting the three products from the one mine, the vanadium pentoxide, titanium pigments, and iron oxide, all of which come out as high-purity products, and um, a significant amount of uh, metallurgical test work has been done with our group partners, and we've advanced to, um, to the stage now where um, we now have uh, focus on funding uh, with key permitting in place and we announced just towards the end of uh, 2018 a 600 million US uh, debt facility mandate with leading German bank KFW. Uh, this is a brief look at um, our, our corporate current corporate overview. We recently announced the new appointments of a new chairman um, uh, last week and uh, bring significant uh, development and mining experience. And our board skill set, you can see, is gradually moving towards that development and being a producer. We've also introduced on the top 20 shareholders uh, an Indian mining conglomerate, the Vimson Group, who are an iron ore producer and bring in significant operational experience to us. And the other point to note there is that we are um, currently well cashed with just over 16 million. The project is extremely well located, close to all existing infrastructure and um, close to all, all the facilities. The resource itself is, is, is a shallow lying, flat resource, um, allows us to be um, uh, only using open pits at a very low cost. Um, it's homogenous from a geological perspective, which gives us extremely good um, material to work with as a concentrate through our, for our facility. The key advantages of these types of ores, I think we've, we've heard um, uh, Fortune talking about Bushveld this morning, we're ex exactly on their heels for, uh, for development. These deposits, they're not rare, but um, where you get a good one, where you do get a good mix of vanadium and titanium, then uh, you have a very good potential for it. If it's well located, an advance, a, an economic deposit. Sorry about that. Our project, as we've announced over the, over the years, um, has a very, very strong, robust uh, financial metrics, um, about 4.7 billion Australian NPV. Um, this has currently been tested uh, several times now, including with the leading banks that we're working with, and uh, pleased to say that the metrics are stacking up extremely well. This, I might say, is based on uh, lower prices than are currently on the spot price in the market for all three commodities. Key progress in 2018, we uh, completed all the, the EIS approvals for the mine sites and, um, and strategic investment. In addition, we um, were able to seek an agreement with a group called Tycons for the design and build of the titanium sulfate plant. We executed the native title agreements, which um, with the EIS allowed us to have the mining licenses granted by the NT government, which is a significant leap forward for the project. Uh, binding offtake agreement with uh, DKSH for the titanium pigments, the binding, binding of terms. We expect to complete the actual offtake agreement within the next uh, three to four months. Um, the final engineering and design has been kicked off with the SMS group. Um, this now includes, very importantly for us, a process and a product guarantee. So the SMS group will be guaranteeing the products at the end, but also the feed product that goes actually into the from the concentrator into the um, tie band process. As such, the feed encompasses now all the plant equipment from the mine site through to the downstream processing. And finally, in 2018, we, we had the uh, $600 million, million dollar offer from KFW to do the debt total debt for the project, which was, again, a leap forward for the project. And I think uh, now allows us to focus significantly on the equity portion. Um, there's a lot to read there, but basically saying that we, we have the concentrator, planning for the magnetite concentrator, very, very advanced. It's now also into the feed status. Uh, most of the design has been done by Como Engineering in, uh, in Perth. 
Um, logistics are simple. We produce the concentrate at the mine site. We'll tr truck it down to the rail siding and the rail up to up to Darwin, where the the process facility is actually on the railway line. The downstream processing we've called Tyvan. Um, we've developed it with our leading metallurgical consulting groups, including CSIRO, METS, and of course the SMS group. It takes away the conventional method of just producing the uh, vanadium pentoxide and a ferrovanadium, um, similar to Bushveld, and we extract the maximum value from the pro from the deposit by taking out the iron, the titanium, and the vanadium. Uh, it's proven technology now, and um, we've steadily been patenting in this uh, around the world, and that gives you a list there of somewhere of the status of, of those. Um, this is how our product spec sheets are starting to look with the offtake agreements in place. So for the vanadium pentoxide, we have an agreement with Wujin, a Korean-based group that supplies 100% of the ferrovanadium requirements to Hyundai Steel and POSCO. DKSH are a leading uh, global distributor with some 850 offices globally and um, 11 billion US turnover, so a huge partner for TNG to be involved with on the pigment side. And Gunvor, uh, binding terms, also agreed for the uh, take off the iron products, which at this stage will be high purity iron oxide, uh, possibly pelletized. Um, this grades around, this is a 99.9% .9 pure iron oxide, grades around 69% Fe. From the approvals side of things, um, environmental approvals are all done for the mine side. Uh, mineral lease is granted and the EIS for the actual processing plant we expect to be finished within the next few months. Um, the feed uh, encompassing both the mine sites I've, I've already mentioned and that's all, all underway. So we have a significant amount of, um, of preparation going now for the, our EPC strategy. This includes gearing up our, from our uh, executive perspective and there'll be some key announcements in the next two to three months. Um, of people joining TNG with experience in development and uh, ready for the um, EPC at, at the end of the year, which we expect to be at the end of the year. Project financing is uh, is my um, key focus at the moment. We've secured the debt funding finance mandate, and from that now we can lead into um, the equity funding strategy. It's always been a, st a strategy of us to have either strategic investors investors and institutions, offtake partners and development partners involved. Now we have a mix of all of that on our register at the moment and also in the total project. Um, but we have a number of options that we're still exploring along those lines and that's what we'll be doing over the next two to three months. And I expect by the end of the second quarter, um, we will have a clear understanding of where our equity funding for this will be coming. I can say that we have a, a significant amount of interest and um, we don't even rule out uh, um, overseas funding as well from the likes of Hong Kong and or London. So the path ahead, um, the expected next steps for us, um, we can see full permitting for the Taiwan processing site. This is very important. At this stage, there are no roadblocks for the location of the full downstream processing plant at the Darwin uh, site that's been allocated to us by the Northern Territory Government. Um, we have the appointments of uh, equity and, and debt providers. Um, we're looking at a number of proposals. Completion of the final mine, mine design and the feed. Uh, equipment tender process and obviously this leads to the board's final investment decision. Um, commencement of developments and continuity of engagement with the, uh, the local um, community is very important. And this leads into the development schedule and milestone. So, cut it short, we're looking to commence developments at the, uh, the end of this year, early, early 2020. Thank you very much for your attention.